Okay, Abraham, I was going to go ahead and make a video for you. I was going to train you a little bit. So, one of the things you need to realize is that as appraisers, we work in several counties. So, I want to show you this map here. Well, uh, let me show you an email I sent you. I sent you this email. Washington State County map, okay? I'm going to open it real quick for you. You see, so um, we work in several counties. This is the state of Washington right here. Okay. Idaho is over here and Oregon is to the south. And my wife and I, we live in Benton County. This is Benton County down here. And Kennewick would be right about there. Pasco's over here, Richland's over here, and so we kind of live in this area right here. This is kind of where we drive around and stuff like that. But as an appraiser, we work in several counties. Like we work in Adams County, we work in Grant, Grant County, Franklin County, Benton County, Yakima County. Sometimes we work in Douglas and Chelan County. Sometimes we even work way up here by Canada, up in Okanagan County. We worked over here. Anyhow, I gave you this map so that you could just kind of print it out and have it as a reference. So, each of the counties, I'm going to show you now, they have a web page. And each county also has an assessor. And those assessors figure out the taxes. And so I want to show you Adams County for a second. And um, every county is a little bit different website. So that is a little bit tricky. Anyhow, let's go ahead and close this. Close this. And uh, let's go here. And let's look at Adams County. So here's what we want to do. You want to type in Adams County. Now, here's the thing that's tricky about Adams County is that there's more than one Adams County. There's one in Idaho. <laughs> we don't want the Idaho one. We want the Washington one. You see, we want Washington State. So we better type in comma Washington Assessor. That's what we want right there. Adams County Washington Assessor. So we'll click on that. Now, what we want is the county assessor page. And now, uh, notice this one says County Adams, Washington, United States. That's the one we want. Now, sometimes there's a bunch of extra ones that aren't really what we want. So, anyhow, click on this one. And it looks like this. Now, notice it says Adams County, Washington. That's good. And here's the assessor page. Now, on the assessor page, the one, the pages and the links that we want is this one. It's called Tax Sifter and sometimes Map Sifter. Now, let's start out by going to Tax Sifter. So, oh, before you do that, I want you to save this page on your computer. So on your computer, you have a tab right here, and this is your favorites tab. So what you'll do is you'll click here, and you'll make this one of your favorites. And you'll click here, and just hit done. Now I've already done this. So for example, it's in my list of favorites. Let me, let me uh, just cancel out of here. Do, let's say I don't have that, and let's go back out here. And close this, close this. Add a new page. Now, um, I, I would go ahead and here, just click on my favorites. And down here in my list of favorites is Adams County. So I can just go there real quick. Okay. And see, so now we're at the same page. So now what I want you to do is click on Tax Sifter. I want you to become familiar with Tax Sifter. And... Um, move this down to here 
So, <clears throat> just uh, sometimes we do a simple search, sales search, and so on. Read Sifter. Sometimes we use that. But anyhow, just hit Agree here. And now, what I want to do is give you a parcel number. And take a look. This is a parcel. I want you to see this here. This is one of them that we're going to be working on, possibly. I don't know for sure, but here's the parcel number that we want. Um, it's 210045202010. Whoop, I need to type this in. <laughs> 210-045-202-0100. Okay, that's the number. And then hit search. <clears throat> See, now this is what the assessor does. They, they create, uh, they figure out the taxes. So if you click on treasurer, that tells you the taxes that they pay. This person pays $3,847.97. And that's the taxes that this person has to pay. Jason Slagle, I think it's Slagle, he's the owner of this property. <clears throat> and he has to pay that. Now, there's other tabs that we'll use, like the assessor tab. This tells you he has 62 acres. 0 0.09 and um, there's all this stuff now you'll be interested in using this map sifter the map sifter shows you where this parcel is you see in regard to the whole county let me close that for a second see um, there's Here's the entire Adams County. Remember that county map I showed you? Uh, back here. Here's Adams County. You see, it's shaped like that. There's Adams County. Okay, so what we're looking at is Adams County. Let's minimize that. See, there's the picture. Now, let's zoom in to where we were. Uh, where was that parcel at? <laughs> yeah, kind of lost it now. Oh. Oh, I think it's, well, let me just go to it again, the map sifter. Okay. So this, this tells you where the map is located. Okay. So it looks like this. Okay. Now what you're going to want to do is to print out this assessor map, but you don't want it too small. See, like that's way too small. Uh, and you don't want it too big, like that's probably too big. Uh, so kind of make it about that size there. What you want, you see this road up here? This is called a road. This is bench, bench road. And this is a road here. You want some of the roads on the map. In fact, that's probably a good size right there. So, uh, move this out of the way. Once you have the right size, you're going to go ahead and print it. So you, you go ahead and hit print here and make sure it's in color. When you print it, it should look like something like this. There's, there's my assessor map that I have. Okay. Like that. You should print it just like that. Now you'll notice here on the map, there's a circle pivot. This circle pivot here is what grows agricultural crops like corn. Sometimes they grow wheat, maybe they grow alfalfa. Alfalfa is like hay for horses. Um, they might grow onions or potatoes, you know. Here's a half circle pivot. The pivot comes around like this and waters all the food and grows a lot of food. And so he's either growing um, some sort of crop. I don't know what it is. And so, anyhow, you go ahead and print that map. Now, so you should have a copy like this. And now, I used my orange highlighter to highlight it in orange like this. That's what I did. I, I highlighted. And um, 
to, to, to make an assessor map, all you need to do is print out this page. Now, I emailed you this page. And uh, you can just cut out some of those with scissors. <laughs> and, and you should get one of these. You see? Uh, after you cut it out, you get one of these. You see? And then you're going to use clear tape. I like clear tape like this. It's good to use. And you're just going to tape that near the center towards the bottom of the map. You see? Towards the bottom. And so you can try that and practice it. Okay, and then what I want you to do also is to get this map. I sent you a page with this also. This is an email I sent you. Okay, so since since this is a subject, this is a subject property. Um, uh, I'm going to go a little bit faster, but I have stickers. So... What I did is I put a sticker on there like that. You see? So you can use scissors and cut them out. You know, you can cut out your sheet. You can use scissors and cut cut them out, you know. And uh, then, then you have the map. It's finally done now. Um, it has the assessor map label. It has a subject label. And that's all you really need to do. So what I want you to do is I want you to practice that. And then what you need to do is you need to scan the map using the scanner. You have the scanner. You know, place it on top of your uh, scanner and scan it. And then email it to me. Like, for example, um, once you scan it, it will become like a PDF. Now, you're going to have to learn how to scan it. Um, so, you're going to have to get familiar with your printer at some point, And then you'll scan it to me. Okay? And then you can just email it back to me. What you'll do is you'll... You'll scan a map for me, uh, and and then you'll just email it. Like uh, you might, uh, let me minimize, let me close that. You'll go to your your email, and you'll just create home, home new email, and you you could type in uh, my email address, you know, KK. To, you know Larry Russell, and then you attach you attach the uh, assessor map. Okay, so let me just show you how to do that. Like uh, I'll browse, and I have a bunch of assessor maps in my files already. But uh, you'll you'll just pick the assessor map. Let's say I do Paul Gifford, and uh, final dot, and uh, you'll call it an appraiser assessor map of the subject. Okay, and see, so you just click it on there. And then you'll just say, here, here you go. Here you go. Boss. <laughs> you can call me boss. <laughs> and, uh, and then you just send it to me. And then I'll check over and see how you did on your map. And I'll tell you if it's good or bad or whatever. Does that sort of make sense? Okay, so uh, I'll send this to you. You can watch the video on YouTube, okay?